Hey everyone, Brian here with DIY Outdoor Life. Today's video is going to be about this CIGS from Bouge RV, the SIG solar panel. This one is the compact 100 watt with adhesive that comes pre-attached to this. We'll talk about all that. This is the very first modification I did on my hiker trailer. Literally before this thing had ever seen daylight or had been coupled to my vehicle, I went to the factory on pickup day to attach this panel on. There's a reason for that, and that's what we'll cover today. So when Bouge RV put out this SIGS technology a few years ago, I did a review on the channel. When the products were first available on things like Amazon to be able to get this super thin, flexible panel, now, in that review, I covered a lot of the basics, but this is a extremely light, extremely thin and flexible panel that will either come pre-punched with holes to fasten it to a surface, or they sell it to you with the VHB tape in the perfect spot so that you can apply this thing like a peel and stick sticker. Um, in that respect, it's really, really cool. But if you want to understand why this is such an amazing technology, we do have to review some of the basics and uh, I'll try to move through it quickly. So to cover the basics here, a solar panel harvests energy from the sun. It moves through the wire. It needs to go to a charge controller that converts that to a battery charge parameter, and then the battery can store it. We don't run things off solar panels. We just use those to charge batteries. With something like a power station, a portable power station, the charge controller is built in. That's what makes it a PPS. But if you're running it on a camper, you run it through a charge controller and store it in the battery. Now, these solar panels come in a lot of different technologies, shapes. Each one of them is best at doing some aspect of how we might want to use it. Now, for these tiny campers, I think there's a lot of folks that would find that the CIGS style of panel is far superior to the old flexible silicone panels. And in my application, it's superior to glass panels as well. So glass panels, they come monocrystalline, polycrystalline. Uh, they're bifacial style panels now. You can get them in any wattage. Those glass panels are always my first choice. They're the cheapest. They last a really long time, 25, 30 years and they're 100% waterproof, weatherproof. You can bolt them onto the roof of your house at home and they stay there for decades. The downside to those glass panels with situations like this is you either have to drill through the roof and seal that up with Z brackets. They have some adhesive corners that can hold those down, but the surface has to be really flat. It doesn't do well on curved surfaces. And when you put it on roof rack bars, sometimes it creates a wind dam. You can even hear it when you're driving. There's ways to prevent that, but my point is that there are some downsides to glass panels. Portable panels are not really what we're talking about today, but they have some pros and cons as well. It's really nice that you can reach them out of the shade and run an extension cord, set that panel up, and point it right at the sun. It works really well in that regard. They are expensive, they're more susceptible to theft, and they don't last as long. If you actually use that panel day in and day out, you'll see that you can absolutely wear those things out. I've gone through several sets of portable panels, and that's the difference between using it once in a while on a weekend and using it every day. But the third type of panel is what I don't want people to confuse with this CIGS. That's the old style 30 degree bend silicone based panels. Now, those panels were good when there wasn't CIGS technology because you could adhere them with glue or with VHB tape to curved surfaces. It was really, really handy. What a lot of people don't know about those panels, besides being susceptible to damage, they break really, really easy, but those panels wear out as quickly as three years. If you store your camper in a garage or keep a cover over it, you can get them to last a lot longer. But if they actually sit out in the sun day in, day out, 
their performance goes down every single day, day after day, week after week. After about 30 months of outside exposure, those silicone-based panels might work 40%, 50%. The numbers really are shocking, and a lot of people don't know that. That's where CIGS, CIGS SIGs panels come in and really eat those old-style flexible panels for breakfast. The SIG style panel is far more flexible. It's thinner. You can wrap it right up like you're rolling up like a poster. It's that flexible. But it's also indestructible. Um, I have a video coming out, and I really don't like to do these videos, but I can show you. You can smack this thing with a baseball bat, run it over with a car. You can drill holes in it with an electric drill, and the panel continues to work. Obviously, the performance goes down a little bit, but nowhere near what it would go down with other panels. You can literally walk on this without doing any damage. So on an off-road trailer with branches and things like that, it's a great technology to have. But the reason why it's worth every penny is it's rated just like that glass panel. You can have your lunch and eat it too or whatever it is, pie, whatever the expression is. Uh, it works like a glass panel, but installs like the old style of flexible panels. So I wanted to go over these things today. I know I get a lot of questions on CIGS, but if you have any application like this, um, it's not close. It's not like it's a little better than those old style panels. This will last for decades. The installation could not be any easier. If you look at how well this fits on the hiker trailer, I would think that that would get some people's attention. Um, it fits like it was actually made for this trailer um, in that compact zone. But I think we covered most of the basics today. And uh, I have links in my description. I'll include promo codes when I get them. But this is the Bougar V SIGs. And, uh, you know, I've been using these things for years and I absolutely love them. <laughs>